what's up family so as you guys can see from the title we are doing a cash stuffing a little more than usual so this is both my stimulus payment as well as my paycheck so first we're going to start off with the stimulus because i tried to like do it both of combining both payments and paying them like dividing everything out but i was confusing myself so i just gave up and we're just going to do them separately so right now we're starting with the stimulus so i got 2800 for the stimulus because we split it in half me and my husband so he got half i got half so basically like he took one child i took one child and plus what we got for ourselves so 2800 dollars is what I received and I actually split it in half so we will only be stuffing 900 of that money today because I put 1400 in my savings account and then I paid off three bills which was electronic transfer but in total of the 2800 1400 went into my savings account and the other 1400 half is here majority is here not even half majority is here the other the rest went towards paying some bills so now that we are all caught up let's get right into it so first we start with our everyday category and we really don't have much in the everyday category to stuff because i decided to like save majority of that for my actual paycheck like gas and grocery and stuff um, so we're just doing self-care and household and let me pull out my little cheat sheet. So self-care is getting $45 and y'all, when I went to the bank to pull this money out, like this is only $500 that I have of the $1,400 that I was intending, well the $900 that I was intending on pulling out of the bank, I was only able to pull out $500 because I guess... Since everybody, you know, got stimulated and stuff, they were going to the bank and pulling out all their money. And I guess the bank didn't have enough money to cover everybody's withdrawals. I've never seen such in all my life, but that's what happened. So <laughs> she could only give me, like when I told her I wanted 900, she was like, oh no, I can only give you five. And then she was like, and I was like, all right, well, let me give you the denominations of how I want the five back. And she was like, oh, no, I can only give it to you in 20s and 10s. It was, it's a whole hot mess. Like, <laughs> everybody got stimulated and went straight to the bank. So I had to go into the folders and make change from the other folders to, like, make it all work, sort of, kind of. So... We're still not going to be able to stuff everything that I want to stuff right now because, again, I was supposed to take out 900 and this is only five. But we're just going to make it do what it do until I can go back to the bank and pull out more money because it, it was insane. All right, so now in self care, we have 20, 40, 55. $55 is now in self care. And as you guys saw, we had 10 left over in self-care from our last stuffing. Um, and into household, we are doing $50. Okay, so I had to split up the 20s and the 10s. Like, these are the 20s that I already divvied out to go into my envelopes. And these 10s were already designated to go into my envelopes. And these were all the extra. So now... To do 50, I guess we'll just do two 20s and a 10. See how far this extra cash will get us since it's not in its correct denominations like I wanted it to. Um, 10, 5. All right, so now in households, we have 2, 4, 6. 75 so 75 dollars is now in household and that brings us to the end of our everyday category 
We are now into prep and landing. So miscellaneous. Miscellaneous has a lot going on. It's got change and two dollars left in it. All right, so that will all go into my little savings jar upstairs. And miscellaneous is getting forty-five dollars. So two twenties and a five. So miscellaneous is all good. Tom Tom is getting twenty dollars, which is just one twenty, and we're gonna take out one twenty for Theo too because he is also getting twenty dollars. And I'm not even going to count it all out yet because we still have to put my paycheck in. So I'm just going to add the money to the envelopes. And then once we add in the cash from my paycheck, then we'll count to see how much is actually in the envelopes. So that this video doesn't get long-winded. Alright, and then we have... Where's the rest of my prep and landing category? All right, so now we're doing back to school, which is getting $100. So let's see. I was going to put a $100 bill into back to school, but like I told y'all, she only gave me my money in 10s and 20s. So two, four, feels like two. Two, four, six, eight, one. That leaves me a 20. All right, so $100 we have just put into back to school. Okay, and now we are at beauty and beauty is getting $50. So, that was going to be just a $50 bill, but we don't got one, so we're gonna get creative. So 20, 30, 40, 50. $50 is now in beauty. And as you can see, Beauty is empty because I actually did go finally to the hairdresser and get a haircut. I don't know if that vlog is out yet or not, but use the money. Finally got a haircut. All right, so beauty is done. And that brings us to the end of prep and landing. Now we are moving right along to our long-term category, which is retirement, new car, new house. And actually, we are going to skip this category because each of these was getting $100. And I was going to put a $100 bill in there. So these will have to wait until I decide to go back to the bank. And I could have just gone to the ATM. Like the woman was telling me like, oh, the 7-Eleven across the street, they have an ATM. But... If I go to the 7-Eleven across the street, I get charged a fee for using an outside ATM. So, no ma'am. <laughs> I will not be doing that. I will wait until Nevi Federal gets some money again. It's not a problem. All right, so now we're just going to skip straight to the end because I do not have the other budget binder in front of me. I have to go run and get it. But March Madness... So that gets 15 because that is the change from the 1400 after take everything out. So 15 is going into March Madness and I'm not going to write 
on the back of it yet because we still have to put in the leftover money from my paycheck. So, I'm just gonna sit this to the side. Yay, March Madness, all done. All right, so now we are into build, our build category. Um, emergency fund, that was getting $50. So, yeah, that was getting a $50 bill. So let's see how many 10s do we have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, all right, let me grab a pen so I can scratch off what I've already stuffed. So I can see what I still need to. All right, so here's my little cheat sheet. Um, we skipped all of these. So we're at emergency fund right now. And that is supposed to have $50, but we don't have a $50 bill. Um, What was that last? Yeah, this is the last 20. What were you supposed to go towards? Nothing that I can see right now. So, 20. Thirty, forty, fifty. Just sit you there. Like it always tickles me at my job. They're always like, oh, make sure you turn your bills all facing the same direction when you turn in your till because the bank hates it when they're all one direct go in different directions but then you go to the bank and you withdraw money and your money just be all over the place just every which way they want you to give it to them nice and pristine and orderly but they just give it to you with zero cares in the world all right but now we're going down to car maintenance which is getting forty dollars which is going to be i guess forty dollars and tens 10, 20, 30, and 40. Just any old kind of way. All right. And guess who still hasn't gotten an oil change, guys? This girl. I'll get my life in order one day. One day, I will get it together. All right, so car maintenance done. You can set that to the side and let me scratch these off the list. All right, now travel gets 35. 10, 20, 30. Oh, this is a different looking 10. 10, 20, 30, and then we'll do a five. having to resist the urge to count this stuff all right so travel done so we can cross that off and now how much money do we have left 10 20 30 which brings us to um business business gets 30 dollars damn all right so business is stuff All right, so we got majority of our folders done. We'll just have to come back and do new house, new car, and retirement, and the other things in my other savings folder. 
binder. So birthdays, Black Friday, and Christmas. We'll come back and do those once the bank gets some more money. I never thought I would ever have to say that, that the bank ran out of money, but they did. All right, what is up guys? So, same video, new nails. Um, I told you guys in the first half of this video that the bank didn't have the full amount of money that I was able to, wanted to take out to stuff for my stimulus. And so I had to wait until they got more money in, you know, since everybody got stimulated and took all their money out, the bank didn't have no money. So I got paid. While I was waiting, I got paid. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to wait until I go pick up my paycheck cash allotment and I'll just take out the rest of my stimulus money at the same time and then I'll just finish it all up like that. So that's where we are right now um took all the money out it is all combined here so now we stuffed five hundred dollars in the first half and now we are stuffing an additional eight hundred and seventy five dollars in the second half yay so let's get right start right started so let's get started and we'll finish with the uh stimulus money which I've got my little cheat sheet right next to me. So I need to put $100 into new house, new car, and retirement. So we get right on that. As soon as I walked in the bank, I was like, do y'all have enough money today? Like there are no limits or limitations. Please and thank you. All right, so new house gets $100. Well, I'm going to go just take that out. Um, and now we can count everything because we didn't count it the last time. So 150, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60. So new house now has $260 in it. And I'll update the tracker later. So we'll set that to the side. And then... $100 goes into new car. And we will count this as well. So we have 150, 220, 40, 60, 70. So $270 is now in new car. Almost ready to go to the bank. Both of those. All right, and now retirement also gets 100. And as you guys can see, aside from the tracker, retirement is empty because at the last stuffing, I reached the $300 threshold that I had set for myself. So I took that to the bank. While I was pulling money out, I was also putting money in. So retirement now has $100 in this envelope. And I did order, since I like take the money and put it in the bank, I did order some um, placeholders. So that way my envelopes can still be somewhat up to date because it was getting a little confusing trying to remember what I had in the bank and what's in the envelope and then combining it all. It was, it was getting to be a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, so I ordered some placeholders. But I, I forgot to mention, like, y'all, we didn't even welcome Benjamin to the class. Let's just take one of them out. Welcome Benjamin to the class. Hope to see many more of you coming on through. So we just had to make him feel welcome. That was so rude of us. The first time he ever joined us and we didn't even acknowledge his presence. How dare us, but all right. So we'll put this back because we don't need it right now. All right. And now what other folder did I need to fix? Oh, um, birthday, Black Friday, and Christmas. 
go here. All right, so birthdays gets forty dollars. These two twenties. and birthdays yes it was just the 10 okay it's been a whole lot so aside from big thomas's birthday then tom tom had a little um birthday party for his friend from school that we had to buy a gift for so that came out of birthdays and then they have another party that they have to go to for our next door neighbor who the boys have become friends with their son. His birthday parties this weekend, so we have to buy him a gift. Then April 3rd is Tom Tom's birthday, so heaven only knows what we're going to do for that. Like, it's so many birthdays in this short time frame. So birthdays now has 20, 40, 50. And that is going to be gone in no time at all. I can just feel it. Okay, so Christmas gets 30. So I actually could have kept you. All right. So two, four, fifty, sixty. I know y'all saw what I just did. Oh, mercy. Get it together, Dre. Get it together. All right, so that goes in there. This $30 goes into Christmas. So again, $60. I need a nap, y'all. It's early in the morning and I already need a nap. All right, and then we go into Black Friday, which is also getting $30, which is another 20 and a 10. All right, I'm gonna move the cash tray just a little closer because I feel like I'm having to reach so far to get this money out. But all right. And this is another $60 in Black Friday. have stuffed everything that we needed to stuff from our stimulus so now we are going to get into my paycheck and I can crumple up my little cheat sheet and throw it away I missed um so let's take this out and as usual, we start with every day. So first starting with the gas, that gets its usual $30, which is three tens. to the side. So 
So we are putting $60 into grocery now. And I don't know if y'all can see this, but my envelopes are like starting to come apart. Like, I don't even know if that shows up on camera, but like the laminate is starting to peel off of the actual envelopes. And I'm tempted, very tempted to get new ones like the little pouch ones that like Budget Treasures does or Triple M does with the little zipper because it would make life so much easier, especially when I get like change back. But I'm trying to rock with these babies until the wheel falls off. Like right now, they just got a little flat. It's still movable. Like they're still workable. I can still use these. But yeah, it's going to come time for me to get new envelopes. So self-care. I had actually already stuffed self-care and it got... $30, but my, I didn't know that my camera had cut off, so I'm not even going to pretend like I didn't do what I just already did. So we just go and calculate how much it has in there now. I'll count it with y'all. 2, 4, 6, 5, 60. That doesn't seem right. What did I do? 2, 4, 6, 70. 85 yeah so, so 85 dollars is now in self-care had to double check myself real quick all right and then i also stuffed household while my camera was dead and that got $25. So in household, we now have two, four, six, seventy-five. 75. So $75 is in household. Okay, that's why I was looking at self care a little strange because I could have sworn some had $75. So these are done. And now I can officially put these away. And then we will move into prep and landing, which. Prep and landing, I gotta do some corrections because some stuff happened and I did some things and I just gotta take out of some envelopes to replace what I took out of others, which I'll see what I mean when we get there. All right, so miscellaneous is getting $15 which is just a 10 and a five. I had to double check my budget by paycheck workbook to make sure that that's how I said it was supposed to come out. So now let's check inside of miscellaneous. So now we have two, four, fifty, five, sixty. Okay, so Tom Tom, he gets his usual five, two fives, sorry. So I'll take out his two fives and I'll also take out Theo's two fives, sit them to the side. Because they both get the same amount in their envelopes. And so now Thomas has 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 80, 5, 90. Okay. And Theo should also have that same amount, so 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 5, 90.
and going into back to school. And back to school is empty because we reached our $300 limit when I added my um, stimulus money to it in the first half of this episode. So when I went to go pick up the money from my paycheck from the bank, I took back to school and deposited that into the savings account. So we are starting fresh again in back to school. And so that is getting its usual 40, so 220s. I'm telling you, there is something so satisfying about going to the bank and just seeing your balance rise and rise and rise. Like, it is so satisfying. Like, even though I take money out when I go to the bank, I'm still putting money in. And so it never seems like my bank account goes that far down after I take out what I need to take out to stuff my envelopes. So satisfying. Okay, so here's the one we need to solve. Because Beauty, she's been through it. She got receipts all in her. So, we did stuff Beauty in the first half of this. She got change. And what happened was, like, this is my what had happened was story. I wanted to put, that you guys know I just got my hair done. And so I forgot to wrap my hair. Like the, well, no, the first night after I got my hair done, I wrapped my hair, but I wrapped it the wrong way. So when I woke up in the morning, all the curls were just going every which way looking crazy. So I was like, oh no, this cannot stay. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Sally's. And I've been looking on YouTube and I was like, okay, my hair is cut shorter now. So I can do like a really cute short style. So then I saw people doing like finger waves. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. I'm going to try to do those. So I got the wrapping mousse, y'all. And when I put it on my hair, the moment it touched <laughs> my hair, something inside my mind just said, you know you messed up, right? Because it just curled and kept on curling and no matter how much I tried to wave it, it said, no ma'am, we are curling. And so now I'm back to a TWA um, and that was not what I wanted at all. So I had to set all that to say, I had to take money out to buy like the mousse and I had got like a new pillowcase, a satin pillowcase, that was what my hairdresser recommended. And I got a new headscarf, a better one that would stay during the course of the night because the one I had wasn't staying. So money came out. And then more money came out. Wait, where's the receipt that I need? These was hair stuff. Well, were hair stuff. There we go. This once upon a child receipt. I had to get Theo an outfit. So $13, where's the miscellaneous? So $13. Um, I guess just a 10 will suffice for right now because I had to get Theo um, an outfit because he keeps having like little accidents at school and so I was like you know what let me just get an outfit that I really don't care about because hopefully he won't have accidents as frequent and so you know how like when you send a pack of clothes with your kid to school that they hardly ever use it so they grow but the clothes don't grow so when they do have an accident and they have to put that on your baby be looking crazy in some two little clothes so i went to once upon a child got him um a pair of clothes oh, a pair of pants and a shirt and put it in like a little ziploc bag with some fresh underwear socks and Told him to take that to school, put it in his cubby. That way, if he has an accident, he already has an outfit there. And they don't have to call me if I'm, like, at work or something for me to have to leave or for Thomas to have to leave work. So, I took, I got the money out of the beauty envelope instead of miscellaneous because when I went into Sally's, I took only the beauty envelope with me. And I didn't feel like going back out to the car 
before I went into Once Upon a Child, which was right next door to the dollar store. And I was just like, I'm just going to use the money that's in beauty and I'll replace it. So there, that's the story. All right. So beauty is now getting 15. Did we already put that in there? No, we did not. So 10 and a 5. All right. So bam. Beauty is now officially stuffed. So 10, 25, 31. So 31 dollars is now in beauty. And I'll take the, all the change that was in here and put it in my little piggy bank upstairs. All right, so now prep and landing is done. And we are moving on to long term. Oh, well, we can sit. Build to the side because long term is already here. All right, so retirement, new car, new house. Um, so first, let me check these off. All right, so new car is getting Y'all will be so proud of me. I finally called and made an appointment to get an oil change, y'all. I finally did it. Finally. Like, I know my car, above all else, was proud of me. Like, we didn't even count that. Okay, new car. So, 150 200, 2, 4, 6, 8, 90, 90 dollars, 290 dollars is now a new car. So we are almost ready to deposit this as well. Next paycheck, I don't even think we're going to need to withdraw the money for a new car. We'll just do it electronically and we'll deposit this when we go to the bank. So yay, sit that off to the side. Uh, retirement. It's also getting twenty dollars. So since retirement only has the hundred dollars in it, if it would, there we go. We now have a hundred and twenty dollars in retirement. And new house gets 20. So 150, 200. Two, four, six, 70, 80. So 280 dollars. We are so close to being able to take this as well, which again, it'll probably be the same as new car, this will just, the remainder to get to 300 for next paycheck, we'll just do it electronically and deposit this amount when we go to the bank. All right, so that brings us to the end of long term. And now getting into build. So, emergency fund also gets a 20. So now 
an emergency, we have 2, 4, 50, 60, 70. So $70 is now an emergency because uh, our last cash stuffing, I reached the $300 threshold. So that was deposited in the bank. So we are also starting from scratch with emergency. Um, car maintenance. Getting $20. So 50, 150, 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. So what is that? $230? Yes, $230. I almost forgot that fast, y'all. All right, I'm going into travel. Also gets a 20. Oh, I hadn't even really been looking at my book. I was supposed to put two tens into car maintenance and two tens go into travel. Oops. So two, four. So two, four, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine. So $159 is now in travel. And business gets a 20, which is two tens. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65. $65 is in business. Which also with business, I had to take a little out because I needed to get something uh, for my business in preparation for uh, Mother's Day and all that good stuff. So, had to take out from there. And we come right over to this one. Uh, Christmas, you guessed it, gets 20. Yeah, everything in this binder also gets $20. So, Christmas gets 20 money coming out all right so now we have 20 40 60 70 y'all we're just gonna be back at this again because I believe it's next week when my Income tax is supposed to hit my bank account and we're going to be stuffing that as well. Like March was just the month of money. Like this was March Madness money was the absolute best title for this month because it was just like money everywhere. And I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. So two, four, six, 
70, 80, $80 is now also in, what are you, Christmas. All right, and then Black Friday gets this 20. So two, four, six, 70, 80. All right, so $80 is now in Black Friday. All right, so that brings us to the end of our usual binders and envelopes. And now getting into March Madness, we are going to stuff this again. Twice in one week, aren't we blessed? All right, so remaining is $40. So $40 is what we are putting into March Madness. And honestly, I don't even wanna count it until we get to the last week. But we do have to remember that we still have $70 that we deposited into our March Madness savings account because y'all remember last week it was snowing and raining and Mother Nature was doing a whole lot so we didn't even play with her. So we just did an elect electronic transfer, but yay. Y'all can go ahead and count that if you caught it, but I'm not. So we put in 55. All right, so March Madness is done and we are all done with our envelopes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You know, join the family, all that good stuff. And as I always say, all 2021, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems, and making it happen for ourselves. So, I will see you all in the next one, and have a great day. Bye. I'll take you there. Oh, oh, your love is